Hello. So this video is uh, information on becoming the newest president-elect for New York State Aford Future Professional Section. So at the conference, I believe on Friday afternoon around lunchtime, there is a business meeting for future professionals and you as students are automatically in the future professional section. Every year they elect a brand new president elect. So each year there isn't a president elect and there's a president and there are two students from somewhere in New York state that represent all the student body throughout the state. And they work with an advisor um, the past few years, it's been a lady named Mara Manson, and she is a professor down in Adelphi. Um, she is going to be retiring from the position, and I, yay, get to take over it um, Saturday at the conference, so for the next um, upcoming years. So on Friday of the conference, at this business meeting, which is something that you should all be attending if you were going to be at the conference, this is very important information that you can learn about what's going on for people like you. This is made just for you to get ready to get out, to get jobs and everything like that. So at this business meeting, you can try to apply to be president-elect, which I advise every single one of you to try to do it. The only thing is, if you are getting ready to student teach in the spring, unfortunately, it's not going to work out for you. You had to have registered or tried to do this last year. So if you are in like intro or probably elementary, um, I'm trying to think. Elementary, you would do secondary in the spring, student teaching in the fall might even might be more of our intro people um but possibly elementary too uh you can fill out the form that's in this email <clears throat> and you have to give a speech and it's up to 8 minutes but basically you are going to dress to impress you are going to wear all of your business attire not pe stuff and you are going to tell everyone why you would be the best candidate for this job or for this position um, at the end, you will the students will vote, and it's all the student delegates. So they're going to be the majors of the year for each school. So for us, it's Danielle Gatto and Kelsey Williams. So they will be voting along with all the other majors of the year from the other colleges. But if you get this position, it's amazing. You get to go to these state meetings with all of these professionals from all over the state, from all over the different zones, through all the different sections, like elementary, the secondary, aquatics, dance, adventure, and you're meeting the top of the top people in all of New York State. So the networking with this is amazing. Um, you can talk to Kobe Elbone. So he did this a few years ago. People know who Kobe is. They they hear his name, they know who he is. So that could be you. Um, I can imagine it's a little nerve-wracking giving a speech, but what I suggest is, you know, share a little bit about yourself. What has molded you into becoming a PE teacher? What is your background? How was it when you were a kid? Who were your role models? Going throughout your education, what have you learned that has set you apart from your peers to make you want to be the best person that you can be? What's going to set you apart for the resumes? What's going to set you apart for all the interviews? What are going to be your talking points? And then what are some goals that you could have for New York City? For and a big one is getting people involved. You guys hear my spiel all the time about getting more people involved, having people do more things, raising your hand. This is one of those opportunities you should definitely raise your hand at doing and trying to accomplish this. Um, but what is your goal if you became the next president-elect of the future professional section? What are some things that you think that we could do better at the state level for our students? Um, so you can talk about those different goals and what you would want to do. And um, make sure you practice it. Make sure that you run through this. I can look over it. I'm sure Kobe would look over it. Um, tons of different people would look over it and making sure that it was good. And um, 
it's just a wonderful opportunity. So I highly suggest that if you are in that intro elementary time frame, fill this out ASAP. They didn't give you much time to um, apply for this. So I think application is due, I think it said the 7th. So you do not have much time. Fill it out, sign up, put yourself out there, try something. Even if you don't win the position, just to have that experience of being able to speak in front of people and to say, you know what, I set myself out there or I put myself out there and I tried my best. That's huge. And I will be so proud of you for doing that. Um, so look over this application. It's super simple application. Um, fill that out and then start working on your speech and let me know that you did this. Let me know that you're going to fill this out. So I know who's going to be running and let's get a Brackport person in there. I would love to be able to work with a Brackport person my first year of coming into this position. Um, so challenges out there, who's going to take the grab at it and might change your life. You never, you never know. This was an opportunity given to me back when I was a student and here I am. So you never, ever, ever know what these little things could do for you. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope you all have a good night. I think that's my last video. Night.